everywhere in our world. They, they range from this here giant gymnosperm okay, to our it. tiny and local frass. Plants, w w without them, our world would be nothing. We, we need to protect our plants and make sure we know everything about them, which is why we will be discovering the secret lives of plants. First, we shall start with the most basic of plants, the bryophyte. Bryophytes are often very small, have swimming sperm, and disperse their sperm through spores. They are very similar to sea algae. Oh, I think my assistant over there has spotted some bryophytes. McLean, have you found any? I found Let's go. Let's go. It would seem that we found a bryophyte. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. If you look very closely, you can see the little spore capsules up at the top that allow it to disperse its swimming sperm to other plants. Yes. Truly exquisite. We shall move on to the slightly more advanced type of plant, a seedless vascular plant. These plants have evolved a certain type of vascular system that allows them to grow to a much greater size. This vascular system also allows them to transport sugar and water throughout their whole system of their cells. And I think I've sent my, my, my assistant, McLean, off to go find one. We'll see, we'll see if he's found one yet. Has he found one? He's, he's found one. Let's go and let's journey inside to the secret area. The secret area. McLean has found us one fern. It's a beautiful <laughs> specimen of the fern. It's really exquisite. See, look at how much bigger it can grow than these bryophytes. Its vascular system allows it to grow much larger. Although, however, it still does dis distribute its seeds through spores and the swimming sperm. It's really superior. Much. Gymnosperms are all over the place and are generally quite large. They range from this here redwood tree to that oak tree back there. They are generally large trees and are not water pollinated like the two previous pterophytes and bryophytes we've spoken previously. They instead create massive amounts of pollen that then are either water distributed or usually air distributed um, and just fly around searching for any other tree that is receptive to their spores. So let's see if my, my assistant McLean knows what gymnosperm means. Ah, oh, yes. Well, being a Latin scholar, I know that gymno means naked and sperm means seed. Ah, so it's a naked seed type of plant. Interesting. How, how does this work? Let's see if we can find one of these naked seeds. Wait, have you found one? I'm sure you did. Let's search. Search it. Ah, I found one of these naked seeds. It looks like this. It's small and inside of this beautiful pine cone is a seed, one beautiful little plant truly waiting inside here. Truly exquisite. Finally, we shall discuss angiosperms. Angiosperms are by far the most prolific and beautiful of all plants. They have evolved in a way from all of their cousins that is just extraordinary. They take the naked seeds of the gymnosperms and evolve them into these beautiful flowers and eventually into these beautiful fruits. These fruits and flowers then attract pollinators or animals to come eat the fruits that then just throw the seeds everywhere. Let's see if we can look at one now. Here is a fine example of an angiosperm. This is a plum tree. McLean, what do you have to say about this plum tree? Well, it is really high up here. But I find it truly exquisite how angiosperms use animals to disperse their seeds. Quite fascinating! Ah, quite indeed. Let's take a closer look at one of these flowers. McLean, could you hand me a flower? Ah! <laughs> now I'm all wet! <laughs> it is alright. It's for the greater good of science. See, look at these beautiful, delicate petals. If you were a bee or a fly or someone, wouldn't you want to just go and smell them? It's truly fascinating. Truly fascinating. Thank you for watching this presentation done by Sir David Attenborough and my trusty assistant, McLean. We hope that you have learned a lot about these types of plants. And so, 
we shall ask a random passerby what he thinks about these types of plants. There are four main types of plants, bryophytes, angiosperms, gymnosperms, and pterophytes. They are truly exquisite. Which one is your favorite type? It's got to be angiosperms because they're so beautiful, produce uh, flowers. It's just remarkable how they developed from small naked seeds.